Right, welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 12, DBE 2022, Final Paper 1, Question 10. Don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Subscription is free. Take note, this information sheet or formula sheet is given in any exams. Please make use of it. Refer to it all the time because it can make your life so much easier. <coughs> right, question 10, of course, which is the question on probability. 10.1, A, B, and C are three events. The probabilities of these events or any combination of them occurring is given in the Venn diagram. So please take a good look at the Venn diagram and make sure you understand exactly what each value represents. So the first question is 10.11. If it is given that the probability that at least one of the events will occur is 0 0.893, Calculate the value of y, the probability that none of these events will occur, x, the probability that all three events will occur. 10.12, determine the probability that at least two of the events will take place. 10.13, are events b and c independent? Justify your answer. And then 10.2, of course, the counting principle. A four-digit code is required to open a combination lock. The code must be even numbered and may not contain the digits 0 or 1. Digits may not be repeated. 10.21, how many possible four-digit combinations are there to open the lock? And 10.22, calculate the probability that you will open the lock at the first attempt if it is given that the code is greater than 5000 and the third digit is a... Two. Right, so let's look at 10.11 then. If it's given that the probability that at least one of the events will occur is 0 0.893, calculate the value of y. Now remember, probabilities always add up to 1. So you must never forget that. So A plus B plus C, all of them must add up to 1. So if one of them is at least 0, 0.893, then y should be 1 minus that 0, 0.893, which is 0, 0.107. So what must you remember here? That probabilities always add up to 1. B, find x. Now you see, see where is x situated? Where all three events occur. The probability that all three events will occur. So what you do is, you must add up all those values, 0, 0.05 plus 0, 0.15 plus 0, 0.05 plus 0, 0.1 plus 0, 0.2 plus 0, 0.183. If you add them all up, you get 0, 0.733. So that you must subtract from 0, 0.893 and your answer is 0, 0.16. 10.12, determine the probability that at least two of the events will take place. So now you must go to where two of the, the events uh, coincide. Like between A and B, it's 0, 0,1. Between A and C, it's 0, 0,15. Between B and C, it's 0, 0,2. So you add up all those values. 0, 0,1 plus 0, 0,15 plus 0, 0,16 plus 0, 0,2. Add up all up. And your answer is 0, 0,61. So at least two events. So you don't use X. X is three events. 10.13. Are events B and C independent? Justify your answer. Now if you look at the probability of B. So you must add up all those values in B. Including X which is 0, 0,16. If you add them all up inside B. You get 0, 0,643. If you do the same with C. You get 0, 0,56. If you add up all those values inside C. Then the probability of B and C is 0, 0,36. So probability of B times the probability of C is therefore 0, 0,643 times 0, 0,56, which is 0, 0,36. So the two values are the same. So the probability of P and B is equal to the probability of B times the probability of P of C. So B and C are therefore independent. 10.2, the counting principle. A four-digit code is required to open a combination lock. The code must be even numbered, take note, and may not contain the digits 0 or 1. So remember, a four-digit code, even numbered, 
but it can't have zero and one. Digits may not be repeated. So how many possible four digit combinations are there to open the lock? So therefore, it should then be seven times six times five times four. And that gives you 840. 10.22, calculate the probability that you will open the lock at the first attempt if it is given that the code is greater than 5,000 and the third digit is a 2. So therefore you start with 5, 7, 9, or you start with 6, or you start with 8. So there you are. So it's 3 times 5 times 1 times 3, plus 1 times 5 times 1 times 2, plus 1 times 5 times 1 times 2, and that gives you 65. So therefore the probability is 65 over 840, which if you simplify is 0, 0,08. Or you can try any other alternate method. This is uh, Mathematics with Amps, Ahmed Suleiman. Please give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.